think a lot's been done, in fact. Um, and while we haven't done major, major um, deconstruction of the equities markets, um, I think the steps that have been taken have been um, uh, extraordinary, both in their scope and in the speed um, with which we instituted them after the flash crash. Single stock circuit breakers um, would be um, among them. We ban naked access to the market, so no customer can go directly into the equity markets, which they could before, without going through the risk management controls um, of a registered broker-dealer. We ban the use of stub quotes so that you can't quote a stock $100,000 to a penny, which is the kind of spread that we saw um, on May 6th. Um, we have clear rules now around when exchanges will cancel trades that were clearly made in error. We have a new large trader reporting system coming online that will give us much greater um, information about the activities of high-frequency traders and large traders in our markets. That data is going to be critical to our ability to justify further changes in the equity market structure. Uh, we created an advisory committee with two Nobel laureates on it to advise us on the interrelationship between equity, options, and futures markets um, in, in a period like the flash crash. And we generated two reports um, that explained exactly on a you know, microsecond by microsecond basis what happened on that day. So um, I, think, um, I think we've done an enormous amount. I would like to see us be able to do more with respect to um, understanding, testing, and holding people responsible for algorithms that malfunction in the marketplace and potentially cause uh, damage to in innocent bystanders. We need to have a much deeper understanding of the impact of high-frequency trading on our markets. We convened a meeting of all the major market regulators in Europe in the fall um, to talk about, off the record, regulator to regulator only, what are they seeing in their markets from, from high-frequency trading, or as they call it now, low-latency trading, and um, what steps um, different markets might be taking. And we all um, concluded that we have concerns, but we don't have enough data yet to really be able to justify um, significant additional steps at this point. But nonetheless, we, are, we do have um, some rules, proposals outstanding with respect to uh, dark pools of liquidity, um, the consolidated audit trail, which will let, enable us to reconstruct markets uh, much more quickly after there's been a problem, but also to use for um, looking proactively for market manipulation and other problems. Um, we're still looking at issues around whether market makers should have obligations to the marketplace to, to be quoting um, within a specified um, range from the best bidder offer. Um, for a specified period of time during the day. Uh, we're looking at issues, and our advisory committee actually recommended um, fees on cancellations of orders, because we see the vast majority of orders are canceled and never executed. We're even looking at issues around minimum time and force for quotes. So while we haven't landed on, on concrete things that we will do next, all these ideas are live and subject of discussion within the agency. Part of our issue, though, is bandwidth. The same people who do market structure are doing OTC derivatives uh, and um, um, dealing with SRO rule filings, and we, 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 we simply can't do it all at once.